and they're all decorated and they, they look like flowing Egypt princesses of Egypt or something they look f stunning and I'm thinking well that's not really humility and that's not really being modest you're you know and I do the same thing I have beautiful flowing caftans that I made myself that are just stunning and then all the scarves and I've got caught up in it too but the really if you if you really look at the meat at the core of the message in the Quran and and how we're supposed to be the snot Yes, we, you know, we should be clean, we should have nice things, we should be, but we shouldn't be out in the street calling attention to ourselves. We're not supposed to call, we're supposed to be humble, we're supposed to be modest. And even though you're covered from here to here, if, if everything you have on your body is making people stare at you and go, wow, look at her, that isn't modesty. That's not modesty and it's definitely not humility and, you know, it's, and, and you know when you have gold everywhere and all that you're showing off this is showing off you are putting in the face of somebody that you have what they don't have the lady in the in the rags doesn't have the fine silk you know and it's nice it's okay to have that especially to go pray I understand that you know you go pray you want to put on your best clothes you want to look you know this is fine but I'm just I'm talking about on a daily basis the people that get so caught up and there's ayahs in the Quran about this too and I'm inshallah someday I will have them committed to memory where I can just recite them perfectly but not yet um, but there are ayahs about that too about about you know coveting and about collecting and gathering um, you know material things and 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 yes to an extent we're supposed to do that but why why are we supposed to get wealth why are we supposed to get wealth so that we can help people. The purpose for us getting money and getting things is to help people that don't have it. It's not for us to sit in our beautiful house with our six cars and our diamond this big. This is not why Allah gives us wealth. Allah gives us wealth, it's a test, but also it's, it's we're to share it, inshallah. We're supposed to share it. We're supposed to help the less fortunate. And then and it says in the Quran, the more you give, then Allah's going to reward you. It, it, it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful cycle. But, you know, that, that, that gets lost sometimes. It gets lost. Actually, I do have something to say, not just to, to Turkish people. I have something to say to people that live in a Muslim country. That I've been to Morocco six times. And... It is so amazing to me. So the people that live where they have, so we have Islamic centers, and we do have some places here that are like a like a masjid. But you can't sit in your house and hear and hear the the call for prayer and and, and, and hear the the adhan. You can't hear it when you're in Morocco. When you're in, I don't know about it in in, in Turkey, but when you live somewhere where you the, you can hear that and 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 you, you know. I don't know, there's something beautiful about that to me. And the, the ability to be able to walk down the street, uh, you know, with your scarf on and, and, you, and it's accept, accepted and no one stares at you funny. And that you can pray. You can stop in the middle of your work and, and drop down and pray and nobody's going to think anything weird of you. That is such a blessing. That is such a, 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 a not a privilege, I mean, it's your right, but people are so blessed that are in these places and and I know they look at America and they think oh you know they're so lucky there but but to me I would rather live in Morocco in in a shack and be able to hear that and go and, and pray and be able to just be free and 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 worship how I want and I mean I see pictures in countries where I see trucks the pictures of trucks pulled over on the side of the road and the person's on the side of the road praying and I get, I get tears. I get tears when I see that because that's like beautiful to me to just be able to do that, to have that, that kind of freedom. And we, we have it here to a point, but it's not like that. And they're, they're blessed and they're fortunate. And when they look at people driving Mercedes and they look at people over here with the big houses, don't forget what's important. What is really important, you know, to me, to be able to, to worship how you want and to be comfortable too in the whole thing is it's it's a blessing and it's a privilege and it's to me better and more important than any house and any car and and any thing that you could have and I mean basically that would be it don't don't uh, don't be don't think it's better because 
I hear so much, oh, America is so great, America is so great. America is great. But I would go there in 10 seconds and, and raise my chickens on the roof and, and, and wash my clothes in the sink and do all of that. I would. Just to be able to, to walk to the masjid five times a day because it's right there. And I can hear it. And I, I just, I don't know. I don't know. There's something about that. It's just, it's, yeah. It's, it's just such a blessing.